Welcome! In front of me I have Sunto Vertical and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button for a couple of seconds then you can release it and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on you should see the select language on the screen. Once you see it you can swipe left, it will open the list of languages. Here you can scroll through the list by swiping up and down, find the language you would like to use on your watch and then tap on it to select it. And after you select the language you will need to set up a profile. And to do it swipe left, uh, select the gender, then a birth year. Next we have the unit system metric on, or imperial, then time format, then weight, height, and once you're done with the profile, it will tell you to connect with the Sunto application. So swipe left. Now go to your phone. Make sure you have the um, internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the Google Play Store, tap on search, type in Sunto, and tap on search button. You should see this application, Sunto. Tap on the install button to install it. And after the application is done installing, tap on open. If you see this pop up, you can select one of your Google accounts to log in into an app. If you want to, I'm gonna tap on none of the above, tap on continue with email. Uh, again, none of the above, then enter the email I want to use. Then tap on continue. And now we need to enter the password. And after I enter the password, I can tap on login to login. After you login, you will see this message, tap on continue. And here, as you can see, we need to allow some permissions to connect our devices together. So tap on the button, tap on the allow, tap on the button, and tap on the allow. Here you can subscribe to the newsletter if you want to. I'm gonna tap on skip. And now you should see the homepage. The app will automatically try to search for the nearby devices, like this. But if it doesn't, you can always uh, tap on the watch icon right here at the top of the screen. And we will start searching for the nearby devices. And it should detect your Sunto vertical. Tap on connect. Tap on pair, enter the code from the watch. Tap on OK. Right here we can uh, set up the network connection. Basically we can connect our watch to the Wi-Fi network. So if you want to do it, Tap on setup network right here. If you don't care, you can skip this step. But um, I'm gonna set up the network, so let's tap on setup. Add network, tap on OK. It will start looking for the nearby networks and once it detects the network, you can select one, enter the password, and it will be added uh, to the list of networks. So let me enter the password. Oh, my bad. Okay, we can tap on OK. For some reason it couldn't join. Let's try again. Okay. And let's see. As you can see, it says added to the watch. You can tap on close. And here we have our network. And you can uh, tap on it. And if you want to, you can also forget it. Okay, so once the network is added, you can make sure that the wireless networks is enabled. So basically it will connect to the network automatically and we can go back. And next we have the option to download the maps. So if you want to use the maps in the offline mode, you will need to download them and you can tap on download maps to do it. I'm just gonna skip it for now and tap on this arrow right here. And next we have the widgets. And if you want, you can basically customize the widgets you will have on your watch and you can tap on select widgets. It will open the list of widgets and you can turn them on or off by tapping on the switch next to them. So for example, we can turn off 
progress, recovery training, stuff like that. And once you're done, you can go back. Okay, and once you're done customizing your watch, you will have this X button right here at the top. You can tap on it, to close this, then tap on allow, done, and the watch will start syncing with your phone. And once it's done, the options should be applied. Another thing you can see is the permission for the notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you want to do it, tap on allow, and once you allow it, the notifications should work. Also, it will redirect you basically to this page. Here you can find the Sunto app, tap on the switch, tap on allow, and then go back to the app like this. And at this point, the watch is paired with our phone. It just needs to sync completely, optimize the GPS performance and stuff like that, which will take a while, but that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.